any platform business has massive need for, for data. In our case, it's even more accentuated given our insurance background. The only way you could do this traditionally was to build up Cube's warehouses, data structures that presupposed the direction your insights needed to travel. We were stuck in this cycle of increasing our own demand, basically. We're looking for AI-driven insights within our business intelligence tools to give the nuance and the sophisticated insight around what's going on in our data. What ThoughtSpot's allowing us to do is to break some of that nexus and having to have you know, that literacy rather than uh, people having to understand just the structure of the data. People are beginning to understand the meaning of the data as they get more proficient the use of ThoughtSpot. The ability to drill down in data sets and get real-time insights, which previously wouldn't have been available in some of our static dashboards. To be able to use the search functionality and for it to be able to predict what I want to filter in or out and to look for those keywords for someone who isn't as technical like myself has been of great value to me. It almost sort of teaches me as I'm using the product. So the main benefit that we've had from it is just being self-service so we don't have to wait for the report to be generated for us. Teams that didn't have any reporting in place were able to quickly generate stuff. So it got a backlog down from I think it was about 1,200 hours to 200 hours in the whip just by having that visibility over it. My team, because we support so many other teams, we provide reports weekly. It would take me hours on a Monday morning to supply just three reports. We're able to build one environment now which can hold hundreds of millions of records and which are aggregating on the fly in sub-seconds. We've had people who are waiting you know, days, if not weeks, to get information who are now accessing it in seconds. The thing that really, I guess, has linked me to using it on a more frequent basis is that it is easy to use. And for me, being able to see results come in almost instantaneously is a, is a big benefit. Probably the most beautiful thing is, is the, the way the tool is so intuitive and easy for an end user to, to use that we're now seeing the tool grow laterally and organically throughout the organisation. For me, Spot IQ is the whole piece. The building of searches and pin boards is great, but where you get your insights is through Spot IQ. I think the best thing that we're able to do now is we're able to look at our data across our organisation at scale. We know things are going up, we know things are going down, we know things are changing. But to actually understand why they're changing and what's driving that behaviour, that's always the challenge. Everyone's talking about digital transformation at the moment. Uh, to me, digital transformation has two main aims. It's around how do we, as an organisation, uh, meet our customers' needs you know, in the moment more effectively. And secondly, how do we actually remain competitive by improving our internal operations? There's no digital transformation without data transformation. The digital transformation is completely enabled by data, whether it's customer profiles, whether it's the personalization agenda, the right risk management. All of that happening in real time in a personalized, customer-centered way is dependent on data and analytics. There isn't this great wall between data science and business intelligence. It's all about getting you know, better decisions being made in your organization. Digital becomes the means, if you like, the fuel behind that is data analytics. So for Suncorp's strategy of digitization and digital transformation, data analytics are at the very center of it.